In this video, I'm going over maintenance in Arch-based distributions. So if you have an Arch-based distribution, definitely pay attention to this because these things you absolutely have to do, otherwise your distribution's probably gonna break. So what I'm going over in these maintenance, there's really major steps. Um, some things are not necessary, but I highly recommend them, like checking the log files for errors and things of that nature. Other things that I'm gonna be talking about, like Pac-Man maintenance, you absolutely have to do. If you don't do this, you're gonna break your install. There's gonna be a time where you go ahead and in update and it's gonna cause all kinds of issues or you'll just not be able to install packages. So it's very important to pay attention here and be doing all these things if you're on an Arch-based system. So if you're on Manjaro or just Vanilla Arch, it doesn't matter, or any variant of Vanilla Arch, you absolutely need to be doing these maintenance steps. And I'm gonna put links in the description below because there's a great Wikipedia article on the Arch website that you absolutely should read and most of this video is based off of that. Um, but with that said, let's go ahead and jump into it. So starting out here, almost everything I'm doing in this video revolves around the Arch Linux system maintenance wiki. Most people often overlook this link and it's vital if you're gonna do an Arch or an Arch-based system that you pull this up peruse it because most of the stuff I'm going over is in here and some more detail is actually provided from the wiki. So definitely look it up. If you're on an Archbase system, you should have definitely visited this page if you haven't already. Um, there's a couple places I'm deviating in this guide. The main one, backups. Um, I don't go into nearly as much detail in these backup configuration files and things. I personally just install time shift, configure it, and then I, you know, hey, if something happens, I just go into time shift and restore. Super easy, way easier than doing manual backups using like a script or something like you could personally write. Um, if you want to be super geeky about it, you can totally do that. I'm not knocking you. It's just if you just want a very easy solution, I highly recommend time shift or another backup solution like that that is just dead simple you set it and then just forget about the, the backups until you actually need them and uh you know with that said let's go ahead and jump into checking failed system d services so this is one of those things where you can just type this command and it'll actually show any failed services so if someone like network manager is not starting up properly and you don't have wi-fi you can type in this command it will actually show it's good to every once in a while type this command in it's not necessarily something you have to do all the time um, but it is recommended by arch linux and the next command i kind of wanted to go over is journal this kind of just shows you the overall system journal what's going on what kind of errors have you seen in the past little bit so you can see i've done a soft reset on my computer I had a USB device that was acting up or was having issues and that's about it from as far as the Manjaro kernel goes. So these things are kind of like, eh, you know, nothing big, but it's always good to run this command every once in a while just to kind of get a good basis. But these types of things just kind of head off some issues. The next thing is time shift, which I've actually already done a video on time shift and I'm going to link it up here in the card but uh, and also put it in the description as well just know that if you can't boot you can always hit Control alt f2 to drop to terminal and then from terminal you just simply log in and then type time shift space dash restore and with that it pull up your restore points and then you just simply restore to another time and everything would be great in the world the next thing i'm going to go over is actually Pac-Man system mirrors. Most of Pac-Man gets put to the wayside. Some people don't update their system very often enough and Pac-Man sometimes just needs occasional maintenance. As far as package managers go, I really don't like Pac-Man. I don't think it's nearly as good as other alternatives, but it's what Arch uses, so therefore we have to use Pac-Man. And certain things you just need to do. I find after about a month, if you don't touch it, or a couple weeks sometimes it just breaks like it just won't it just stops updating some packages like i'll go ahead and hit refresh and it'll just won't pull anything or it'll just won't download a new package when i type it in 
just really annoying things like that. And that's where some of the comments and things like that I've seen about Arch come from. And I get that. Um, it, it does not do a very good job of self-maintenance. But the very first thing you should be doing about once a month, I like to run. I, I created my own script on GitHub. Um, most of the script is actually not that good, but the zero dash setup mirrors.sh is actually a fantastic script. It goes over um, kind of pulling in everything from the US and it just orders them for me. So I have a really good mirror list to pull from. You don't necessarily need to use something like this. You can easily just pull up a Palmac, which I'm going to go ahead and pull that up and just come into here. Uh, under preferences, uh, I'm going to go ahead and close and go preferences. And then you can easily go into the refresh mirrors right here and you can select your, your thing and hit, hit it from an actual GUI. If you're using package manager, um, which is from Manjaro, I believe, but it's a very good thing to do every once in a while you definitely need to be updating your mirrors some mirrors fall off or become dead other mirrors just get a lot of latency and become stop becoming really good mirrors so that's why we use preferences and mirrors in here and also another thing i will mention is clearing your cache every once in a while i like to clear the cache and then refresh the database so clear cache and then i come into the top section of package manager and i'm going to go ahead Pull that down a little and just hit refresh databases right here this will actually refresh and i'm gonna go ahead and do it it just checks for updates it clears out everything so if you ever clear your cache i highly recommend just doing a refresh afterwards and as you see even though i upgraded like literally two days ago there's still some stuff that it wanted to grab so uh kind of a something to do i'm not actually going to commit these just yet because doing an upgrade right in the middle of a video is probably not recommended. So that's the main thing. So once you've done that, um, you can also do that command if you want to refresh packages by just doing a uh, sudo pacman dash uppercase s y y u. And this does the exact same thing that we just did and it would do a full system upgrade and upgrade these packages. Now you notice it only does curl where the other package manager I was doing actually had more packages. Well, that was from the AUR. The other thing that's not really in the Arch maintenance or at least I didn't see it was addressing some of the things with AUR. There's problems with AUR when you get too many packages. Sometimes you subscribe to a package on an AUR which AUR is Arch user repository and users are the ones maintaining it. Sometimes that user just stops maintaining that package. What happens is that package gets out of date, the build instructions become obsolete, and then it just breaks. So um, it's important to know that and know when to just drop from the AUR. Don't get too many packages from the AUR because again, some users just stop updating the packages and then it could also cause all kinds of issues with your system. So it, when in doubt, one of the first things I like to do is refresh my mirrors, refresh, clear my cache and refresh my database. If I'm still having issues with Pac-Man, I then like to clear out all my AURs or check my AURs on the Arch Wiki, which I'll go ahead and pull that up here. Um, you can come over to the AUR up in the top right hand corner. I'm gonna pull this over to the right. And from here, you can search your package. So let's say I wanted to check my package for Google Chrome. This would tell me, hey, is it up to date? How is it looking? So we go here. Um, also, popularity is a good gauge of how popular it is. And you can kind of see, hey, when was it last updated? This was last updated literally just last week. So obviously this is a good package, but look out for red. Usually it'll pop up and say, hey, this is out of date or dependencies are no longer valid or it's depreciated. It could be a lot of uh, different things that you'll see, but look out for red text and also check this out. If it goes several months or more, um, be very wary about using that AUR package. And that's really all my advice as far as the arch maintenance and what you should be doing. And every package manager, every, uh, or 
you know, if you're using Yay, if you're using YoArt, whatever you're using, just make sure that you're not going crazy with the AUR because that's one of the big mistakes. It's very tempting to do because there's so many packages on the AUR where you can easily just take those and go to town. But it's always going to end in disaster because one person's going to stop updating them. I can't emphasize this point enough. So I only have usually about four or five packages from the AUR, not to, nothing too crazy. And then if I run into problems, I just kind of look them up on the Arch Wiki and kind of work through those as I see. So just overall a great thing and that's pretty much it for arch maintenance i wanted to kind of just make this short video as just kind of like a psa because most people have poor experiences with arch because they just don't understand it or they just don't keep up with this maintenance and refresh the database it's very important to just kind of do these things and kind of just look into them every you know i'd say once a week you need to be doing at least something with your package manager or once every couple weeks just to make sure everything is up to date and good to go now if you don't or this seems like too much of a hassle just know if you go several months without an update or anything like that you're probably going to have some big issues and arch is probably not or an arch based distribution is probably not the distribution you should be using and that's just my personal opinion from my experiences. So that was the actual maintenance of Arch. So I really hope you got a lot from this. Just make sure you're following these steps because there's nothing more aggravating than reading in the comments going, well, Arch or Arch-based distributions stink because I'm not able to actually run it solid for more than a month without it completely breaking and I have to reload my distribution. I've heard this comment more than a dozen times and it's just kind of aggravating and that's kind of what prompted this video was because I've seen these comments and it's something that I think is just badly misunderstood in the Linux community. Arch is a fantastic, however, it does require maintenance and it does require you to keep up where most other Linux distributions, it doesn't matter if you don't update or do anything for years at a time. So if you're kind of a set it and forget it kind of guy, Arch is probably not for you. However, if you're constantly looking for the next greatest thing or the bleeding edge and you want this type of compatibility, Arch can be a fantastic fit. So it's really just don't distro hop. If you're thinking, hey, I'm gonna just set it in on Arch and just forget about it and keep doing my thing, yeah, just know that's not really how Arch works. Arch requires a lot of love and care, and most people just don't give it the love it needs. So with that said, guys, let me know what you guys think of this video in the comments section below. And if you like videos like this, consider visiting me on Patreon. Every couple bucks helps make more videos like this one. And I'll see you in the next video.